Okay, now we are uh, going to demonstrate the blood pressure histograms in more details. So for the blood pressure, you look at the blood pressure at one time, you have 50 or 25, that's normal, like looks like normal, blood pressure is normal uh, pulse pressure difference. But to be precise about normal or abnormal, you have to have this table which is available at the bedside. So this table is showing the uh, gestational age or the postmenstrual age, Systo except of systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, mean blood pressure, and pulse pressure. And each component of the blood pressure, you have three columns, the highest, mean, and lowest. So you have to be sure that the blood pressure for each component is between the lowest and mean to be acceptable. And it's better to check for the three main components, not only the mean blood pressure, systolic, diastolic, and mean. But uh, you can get a, a cumulative idea for the last 24 hours if you go to histograms. Again, you have by default the oxygen histogram for the last 24 hours and select systolic blood pressure. Is exceeding uh, like the upper limit available here, so you have to select range and make the upper limit higher, like 90 millimeter mercury. So with this infant uh, is, for example, 28 weeks. So the acceptable acceptable systolic blood pressure for 28 weeks is between 40, almost 40 to 55. So the lowest acceptable systolic 40 millimeter mercury. So with this infant. For the last 24 hours, the systolic blood pressure was always higher than 40 millimeter mercury. And the upper limit was reasonable, 60 or less than 60 millimeter mercury. So that's perfect, normal, acceptable systolic blood pressure, uh, systolic blood pressure histogram for the last 24 hours. If you would like to change the time interval, you can select eight hours. If you are not sure about the stability of the infant for the last eight hours, and still above 40 milliliter mercury. And you can do the same for the historic blood pressure. Okay, so for 28 weeks, you have the diastolic blood pressure acceptable between 19 millimeter mercury to 33. So the lowest diastolic blood pressure was 22 or above 22 millimeter mercury so that the solid blood pressure for last 24 hours was acceptable for this infant so if he is on cardiovascular medication either fuzzopress or zorinotropes it is a time to consider weaning his cardiovascular uh, support you can do the same for uh, mean blood pressure but if you check the historic and the diastolic and both of them are within the acceptable um, histograms that should be enough you can also check the uh, vital signs as table, and you can get the, uh, can get that in a table every 30 minutes or every one hour or so. Thank you very much. In part two, uh, we will discuss blood pressure histograms in brief. So you have three blood pressure histograms: systolic, diastolic and mean blood pressure. For this infant with this with these histograms, he was 25 weaker and we have from our tables the highest mean and the lowest blood pressure for each parameter, systolic, diastolic and mean. So we can from the histogram detect The, the interval or the time interval below the lowest blood pressure, which is the fifth centile, and the blood pressure between fifth and the 50th centile, which should be our target if the infant on cardiovascular medication, and the blood pressure between fifth and 95th centile and exceeding 95th, which is high blood pressure. For this infant, that's, this is a systolic blood pressure. And we apply the same for the systolic and mean. For this infant with the systolic blood pressure, you have significant time. The blood pressure 
uh, was below fifth uh, the fifth centile. So if you count five plus eight plus ten and so on, you will get thirty percent of the day, and each one percent represent fifteen minutes. So about eight hours of the day, the blood pressure was low. So this infant knee, uh, needs more support and needs more support toward the systolic blood pressure, which should be considered either uh, fluid to increase venous return if the venous return was low, or to give any troops to improve the myocardial performance. The diastolic blood pressure was affected, but to less extent, so about 6% of the time below uh, fifth centile. And also 6% of the time below uh, fifth centile for the mean blood pressure. And mean blood pressure is more affected by the stool, more than systole. So overall, this infant needs more support. And once you get the blood pressure maintained with a target, that's your aim, then you need to maintain the support or wean very gradual. And then if you have the blood pressure between fifth and 95th centile or higher, then you have to consider weaning faster and to get rid of the cardiovascular medication as far as the blood pressure maintained uh, above the fifth centile. So that's about the blood pressure histograms. Next, we'll discuss part three, which is the trend of other vital signs.